Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a common issue that many Python developers encounter when working with image display in Matplotlib. Our viewer is facing the error, numpy.endarray object has no attribute imshow. Let's break down the problem. Our viewer is trying to display an image multiple times using Matplotlib's PyPlot, but they keep running into an error. They suspect it might be related to how they're handling the array of axes. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's start by understanding the error you're encountering. The error message indicates that you're trying to call imshow on an end array object, which is not correct. In your code, you're iterating over the axes array, but you're not accessing each individual axis correctly. Instead of using ax.imshow, you should use i.imshow. Now, let's look at the corrected code. This will ensure that each subplot displays the image correctly. Finally, remember to call p.show instead of fig.show to display the figure properly. This is a common practice in matplotlib. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To resolve the error with the numpy end array not having an imshow attribute, simply add a command to flatten your axes before using imshow. This will allow you to display your images correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the error, first check the type of AX. It should be a NumPy array of axis subplot objects. If you want to use an index, utilize the enumerate function to iterate through AXs. This is preferred for handling multiple subplots. Here's a quick test you can run. Import necessary libraries, read an image, and create a figure with multiple subplots. Then display the image data using a loop. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the error, remember that when you create subplots, the variable axis is a 2D end array. For example, if you create a grid with three rows and two columns, you'll need to flatten it to use it in a loop. You can flatten the 2D array using the Ravel method, which allows you to access each subplot with a single index in your loop. Alternatively, you can also flatten the array before the loop and access the axes directly using a single index. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day.
Cheers. 